Hello, we are on our way to California and we are very excited. We just boarded the plane. It was a bit of a rush this morning to get everything together and get out the door. I mean, I kind of felt like it was just because the taxi arrived before I was ready. You were ready, but I really had to get it together to get out the door. So I had a lot of things packed and everything was good for that, but, 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 ah, God, oh, God, that, really? Yeah. Those. We have finally made it to our destination, our first destination on this California trip, and that is the Garland Hotel. And let me tell you, I am so freaking tired right now, I can't even think straight. We were up at 4.30 this morning, getting ready, finishing, and all that stuff to get to the airport and catch our flight, which was wonderful, fine flight and everything, but I'm wiped out and tired. So we are getting some food real fast at the um, front yard, I think it's called. And the menu looks amazing and wonderful and I can't wait to try it. And the hotel grounds are really pretty. So I'll have to take you around and show you what it's like later. All right. The Garland opened as a boutique hotel in 1970 when actress Beverly Garland and her husband wanted to create a getaway oasis for friends and family. The hotel underwent 20 million in renovations and today sports a retro vibe with a modern twist. Yesterday was a travel day and today is our first full day here in LA. And today we are doing a small ceremony <coughs> for my mom who passed in uh, 2020, not due to COVID, but right at the beginning of COVID. So before we go down to um, San Pedro, we are taking COVID tests to make sure that we're safe for everybody there. Now we've been uh, vaccinated and boosted. We're still in need of our second booster shot, but uh, we'll get that when we get back because of timing and everything. But for now, let's go ahead and do a very fun COVID test. And done. We're on our way to the Belgian Waffle House to get some breakfast and just walking along Vineland right now, heading to Ventura Boulevard because we're really hungry. <laughs> yes. It is Monday and we are going to go for a drive along Mulholland Drive and then we're going to go see some friends. We're at Perfect Bagel getting ready to get some breakfast before we head out to Santa Clarita and Vasquez Rocks. Then we're gonna go out and get some lunch with family. Once we're done with that, then we're going out to dinner with friends, so it should be a pretty awesome day. She gave us two little donuts. We're in Vasquez Rocks, which is about 40 minutes outside of LA. And when I think of Vasquez Rocks, I think of Captain Kirk fighting the Gorn in the episode Arena. And that is why today, Vasquez Rocks is also known as Kirk's Rock, or at least this particular rock right here. But Vasquez Rocks' claim to fame came long before Captain Kirk stepped foot on these rocks. That happened when Tiberio Vasquez used the rocks and their dramatic formations to go ahead and hide his treasures and himself to escape the law. Since then, this location has turned up in more than 200 films, and I'm sure it's recognizable to many of you. 
One thing that is really surprising to me is that I live like 30 minutes away from here as a teenager and I never came here. I have no idea what that is about, but we are rectifying that today and we are visiting this awesome location. We're here! Yay, we made it! At the top! Yep. Yay! Hi! Hi! The next day we were off to the Getty Villa, where we took in Athenian vases, a terracotta sarcophagus, a large statue of an eagle. We then strolled along colonnaded walkways lined with frescoes, enjoyed the reflecting pool, and envied the vast gardens. The villa really is a serene secret that deserves a visit. And another fun fact about Point Doom, the final scene of Planet of the Apes was filmed here. God damn you all to hell! Quick room tour before we head out. We have a shower and bathroom over here. I love the controls are on this side of the shower so you don't get wet when you turn it on. Let's take a moment to appreciate this awesome wallpaper. This is the room. We have the bed, the balcony, John Palm. Step out into the balcony and now you get a view of the Hollywood Hills. Down below is the pool and the courtyard, which is very cool. So one thing I like to do in the mornings when I get ready is have my own coffee mixture, which is really weird, but I love my own coffee mixture, so that's what I do. I have my almond milk and Starbucks black concentrate. Here's the story. A stay at the Garland wouldn't be complete without a visit to the Brady Bunch house, a mere 10 minutes from the hotel. We stopped by before heading out on the next leg of our trip. A security SUV was parked in front, probably to keep fans from entering the property. We had one more stop to make before starting our four hour drive to Sequoia, and that was to Hollywood Lake to fly the drone. Unfortunately, the day was a bit cloudy, so the footage isn't that great, but the flying part was certainly cool. I'm gonna be broke. See how it's best. You said I said. Yeah, well, do I die or do you die? 
Uh, I was thinking I probably would, but... you probably die? Do you want to do hand-to-hand -hand combat? No, we don't do hand-to-hand -hand combat. We have 